right, NST, properties of raw and manufactured materials. Both raw and manufactured materials are used to make products that we use, and different materials have different properties. The properties of a material describe what a material is like and what it can do. Basically, properties means um, the special features that the particular material, um, that gives the material a certain job to do. Okay, so if I think of glass, glass needs to be see-through, otherwise I can't see out of my window at home. Okay, that's a property that glass has. So let's have a look at a few of them. Um, on my screen there, you can see transparent and opaque. Okay, very fancy words. You need to know what these words mean. So I've got transparent means light can pass through it, and opaque means light cannot pass through it. It's the opposite. Basically, transparent is see-through. You can look through it like glass, and opaque, you can't see through it like brick. Okay, you can't see through the bricks. So think of a glass of... Uh, I've put there a hot chocolate, okay? But think of a see-through glass, like a cool drink glass, and think of a coffee mug, okay? I can see through a glass, I can't see through a coffee mug, all right? Transparent and opaque. I can see through something that is transparent, I can't see through something that is opaque. Then hard and soft, now those are easy to, you know what those mean. Hard, it can't be scratched easily, and soft, it can be scratched easily, or it means you can sort of push on it and it would be, it would give way. Okay, hard and soft, fairly obvious ones. I've shown you another picture there. Teddy bear is soft and a brick is hard. Okay, next one, we've got absorbent. Okay, and absorbent means that it can soak up water well. So a jersey or cloth or material would soak up water. If you think of a mop, okay, that would soak up water well. So when you think of absorbent, think of your jersey hanging up to dry. Okay, it's soaked up all the water from being washed um, and now we need to get the water out of it. Fragile means to break easily. It's easily broken. Okay, think of a glass that's very fragile or an eggshell. That's another thing that's quite fragile. And then two that are very similar, elastic and plastic. They even sound similar. Okay, elastic, think of an elastic band. All right, if I stretch it and I let go, it will go back to its original shape. Okay, it's easily stretched. I can stretch it quite easily, but it will go back to its original shape. Whereas plastic, I can stretch it quite easily, I can move it around, but once I stop, it stays in that shape. So think of a paper clip, I can unbend it quite easily, but if I stop and if I stop moving it about, it's going to stay in the shape that I left it, compared to an elastic, which will go back to the way it was. Okay, so elastic, think of an elastic band, goes back to its original shape after I've stretched it, but plastic, I can stretch it, and it will stay in that shape that I've stretched it. Both are easily stretched. Okay, last few. Dull and shiny, fairly obvious. Okay, dull, obviously, shiny means that you, light reflects on it. Okay, you can see when something is shiny, and dull is the opposite. Okay, it's, it doesn't shine, it doesn't sparkle. All right, and I've got a pair of dull shoes there that need some polishing, and I've got a pair of brand new shiny shoes. You can see the light is reflecting on it. And then another little tricky word malleable okay malleable means it can be bent into a shape but it's not the same as plastic okay plastic I can bend with my own strength malleable normally means I've got to do something to it um, that requires some power to be able to bend it so metal is malleable thick metal is malleable I can heat it up and I can bend it with special tools and then it will keep its shape different to plastic plastic I can probably just bend with my hands all right, malleable, I need some tools to help me bend it. And flexible uh, is very, very bendy. So I think of a um, bendy uh, um, slinky, okay? I can easily bend it, that kind of thing. It doesn't require much power. All right, so just running through them again quickly. Transparent, I can see through it. Opaque, I can't see through it. Hard and soft, fairly obvious. Absorbent, means it absorbs water, it soaks up water. Fragile, it breaks easily. Elasticity, I can stretch it, it goes back to its original shape. Plas plastic, or plasticity, plastic is easier to remember. I stretch it, it stays in the shape that I left it in. Dull and shiny, okay, also quite obvious ones. Malleable, okay, I can bend it into the shape I want it to. And flexible, it can, it's very bendy, it's easily bendable. Okay, what will your teacher ask? Well, she could ask you the definitions of these words. She may say to you, explain what transparent is. She might also give you a number of objects and say, right, 
um, describe these objects in terms of its properties. So she might say to you, okay, a wooden table, describe it in terms of the properties of material. And you'd have to say, well, it's hard and it's dull, it doesn't shine, it's opaque, I can't see through it, um, it's smooth, um, those kinds of things. Okay. Um, so she could give you a number of objects. She might also give you a number of objects and say, sort these out into various categories. So you might have to sort them out com uh, comparing transparency and opaqueness. Okay. Usually she'll give you a few um, items and you may have to um, tabulate them. You might have to put them into a table and tick off which ones are smooth, which ones are rough, which ones are hard, which ones are soft and so on. Or she'll ask you the definitions of certain um, words. Okay, like transparent and opaque and absorbent and so on. Good luck.